Hello, this is Václav and in this video we'll have a look how to increase the complexity of the Neo Trinity by utilizing its inputs. It's a second video in this series, so if you haven't watched the introduction video and are not familiar with the workflow yet, the link is in the description. In any case, let's dive in. Channels E and F have their own dedicated inputs that control either channel E or channel F. The meta input, however, can affect one, two, three, four, five, or all six of the channels, and it can do it differently for each channel based on the meta input input mode. To change the input mode for channel B, I select channel B, hold shift, and press the mode button. And it will cycle through all the different options of how the meta input can affect channel B. To disable the input for channel B, I long press the mode button and the lights go off. To select it for channel A, I select channel A and do the same thing. Shift plus mode. To change the mode of the input E, I hold the E button and press the mode button and this will cycle through the options for channel E and I disable it by long pressing the mode button. Let's start by describing all the different input modes. Input mode is how exactly the channel responds to the incoming CV. First you have the positive mode. Let's hear some LFO on channel E. In the positive mode, the input reacts as if I would be turning the knob itself. And the positive mode is actually a volt per octave mode. So one volt change of the input will result in double the speed of the LFO, which means one octave higher if you would go with the LFO into the audio rate. Then you have the attenuated positive mode, which does exactly the same thing, but the input is attenuated, so it doesn't go through the whole range. Next there is the inverted mode, which would work as the knob, but exactly in the opposite way. So if I'm turning the voltage to the right, voltage going up, the LFO slows down. And on the other way, it goes faster when I go negative. There is also attenuated inverted mode, the same thing, just less. The VCA mode controls the output amplitude of the channel. By applying positive voltage, the amplitude grows and the modulation becomes deeper. When I apply negative voltages, the modulation shape gets inverted and more when I go more negative. So it is a bipolar VCA that works also as an inverter and this will come handy for several of the patch tips. The trigger mode is essentially external trigger for, for the trigger. Let's change to envelope mode. So here it makes a bit more sense. And uh, if I change the envelope to the slew mode and I apply gates, it will act as an attack and release envelope, so it will respect the gate length. And if I change the input voltage, it will act as a slew limiter, always chasing the voltage at the input, but with a little bit of delay.
and it will use the attack and rising types of times of the envelope. The sample and hold mode will update the output only when it receives a trigger. Let's go back to LFO and let's send some triggers. So now it holds the voltage until it receives a new trigger and it would jump to the voltage that would be on the LFO while it was rendering in the background. Let's change the source to an LFO. And now one LFO is triggering the other LFO, creating these staircase shaped LFOs. Because you can also use the meta input with channel E, that also has its own input. It means I can have two voltages affecting one channel. So I select channel E, go shift, and with the mode I can go to VCA mode and I can patch in another voltage. Now I can control the amplitude of this staircase shaped LFO. The cool thing about the meta input is that it can control several channels in a different way. So let's take an LFO from channel B, you will see it now in the red. And I will use this LFO to change the octave of my oscillator. And then now when I go to channel B, I can select that the CV controls the speed of the LFO, but at the same time it changes the amplitude of my staircase modulation of the filter. So you can create these complex macros. So this was all about the CV input modes of the Neo Trinity and in further videos we'll combine the different mechanics of how this module works to squeeze the absolute maximum. So stay tuned and this was Václav, see you in the next one.